This is what they get for disrespecting you, Barry. They're gonna fucking find out. Dude. As you just saw, we're replacing the classic Predator 212cc and going to the Mont Energy ME0708. Should be a nice gain from 6.5 to about 20 horsepower. So I got these parts back in 2020 when I bought a non-running 92 CBR600. He threw this uh, components in. They've been sitting in one of those HDX bins, you know, the yellow ones. Time to use it. Side note, I found this sticker plastered on the side of the motor after he gave it to me. I think he obtained these legally, but if this is your motor, please let me know. The plan is to extend this three and a half inches right here so it fits the Astro body. Get these things out of the way. We're just gonna whack it right here. Hold on, I'm gonna clamp this now. Gotta cut the, the floorboard out. tubing. Well, I do. I got rectangular tubing. Got it kind of lined up here as best as I could. Any other slop we can fix in the steering. Okay, I got it welded up. This is going to be the motor mount. Bolt in there and then uh, bolt this to that guy. It's not not the best solution, but I think it'll work out. And this is uh, kind of the biggest piece I got here, so definitely going to do something about this brake. Well, for one thing, it's... there we go. The sprocket, it's just real seasoned on there. I'm gonna heat it up a little and then basically just slam this thing repeatedly into the engine mount to see if we can get it to budge. The key was to go that way instead of this way and it came off relatively pain free. Got the axle out. I'm gonna put a little thick like, center drill in it so we can check it up, clean it up. Cause there's a bunch of where the set screws were, those get caught in the bearings and it makes it a pain to kind of get in and out. See all these little nicks and things? Clean it up with the scotch brake. There we go. Mount the battery next. Put it in the front cause we need weight in the front and it's easy to do. We'll add some supports, add some tabs and bolt her in. Body's on. Uh, I don't have the bolts actually like bolted up or anything. They're just through the holes. But like, very sturdy, you can do the two in front, two in the back, call it a day. We need to mount the electronics, which I think they're gonna go back there next to the motor. This throttle is kind of weird. This speed controller uses like a resistive type, like a potentiometer. And most e-bike throttles and whatnot you get online, they're all like hall effects, so it won't work. I'm just going easy, I'm using the old twist throttle on this thing, calling it a day. Okay, so we're just mounting the controller contact and fuse to that wood board because it's easy. And, well, it's an insulator, so I'm not gonna have a uh, short circuits again. Okay, plan now. Catch the brakes about right here. Just roll it through those tabs so we can stop. We gotta figure out where we are putting the steering. So the steering wheel is gonna be whack. Getting in and out of this thing's gonna be a pain. It ain't meant for comfort. Out of batteries. Brake fluid. Am I really spilling already? Steering done, brakes done, key stocks in. It's kind of jank, but it'll work now for the rundown and I'll probably just keep it that way. We got brake on the right, okay, handbrake. Then we got throttle on the left, but the throttle is uh, forward, is gonna be to go forward. And it might just be messed up enough so you're not gonna confuse it. Now it's time to run the silicon wire back to the controller. I got some six gauge stuff, should be adequate if I can find it. No sparks, please, no sparks. Ooh, ooh, shit. What's going on? As you probably saw, we had a little issue with the throttle. We had to connect to the controller through uh, this kind of old school port. It's a RS-232 or DB9. So got that to USB, hooked her up, all tracks got its own software. Also this cable, side note, kind of nice. It lights up, 2000s look. You can even see through it. I really like it actually. Um, probably don't need it for anything but this. We remapped the throttle and now we got good responsive throttle. We actually put a little bit of a, a progressive curve in it, you know, so it's easy off the line. And then on top of that, we bumped the power. So it was at 80% max, now we're at 100. See what that does for us. Yeah, this program also, it must have been created for Windows XP because it 
runs a lot better on this computer. See this? See this arrow right here? This is this is the constant arrow I was just receiving. Come on, focus. There we go. Bam. Ooh. Four kilograms a centimeter. That's pretty high. We're just gonna go 20. Eh, fuck it. This uh key stock flew out while I was testing. That will keep the key stock in. Those ones are just jammed in there, but the key stock's over here. They might come out, we'll see. Some zip ties. God, zip ties are nice. Who doesn't like zip ties, you know? Thank you. There we go. The bowling alley seat. I need to mount this, dude. Look at this. It's nothing that's bolted in. Ooh, fuck. I thought something the battery or BMS was burning because of this weird smell, but in reality, I just left the glue gun unattended. I melted a damn hole right through the shop vac. It's bouncing around, a little test drive. We're gonna add this foam and then secure it better. Instead of bungee cord, go with something like a ratchet strap. What was that noise? That was weird. Tennessee whiskey. That's dropped in. A look at that toe in this, that straight line stability. Let's hold that. I could put a handle underneath. You need you need a 